Now, should parents with buggies be forced to make way for wheelchair users on buses and trains? It's a question that has sparked a four-year legal battle after a woman with a baby refused to move out of the way on a bus in Yorkshire. Most firms prefer to ask able-bodied travellers to move rather than make them, but Supreme Court judges will today decide if that policy goes far enough. Our legal affairs correspondent Clive Coleman has this report. Doug Pawley arriving at the Supreme Court for the culmination of a four-year legal battle that started simply because he wanted to get on a bus. In 2012 he tried to board one from Weatherby to Leeds, but a woman with a child's buggy was in the Thank wheelchair you. space and refused the driver's request to move. Doug couldn't travel. I appreciate it's difficult with kids and luggage and everything else to fold a push chair or to move it. But ultimately, unless she did that, you know, she's effectively stopping me from being able to use that bus. He sued the bus company First Group and won a ruling that its policy of requesting but not requiring able-bodied people to move from the wheelchair space was unlawful discrimination. But that was reversed on appeal. It's an issue everyone has a view on. If you're already sat there, where can you put the push chair? I wouldn't do that, but I can see why people would. Our worst enemies are the drivers who actually don't try to enforce the priority space. Well, it happened to me twice last week that a driver just pulled away from the stop because there was a buggy on board without even trying to speak to me. And now this battle between the wheelchair and the buggy has arrived here at the highest court in the land where seven justices will decide whether bus companies need simply ask mums and others to move from the disabled space or make them move. This morning, lawyers for Mr Pawley underlined the value of being able to travel. There's a lovely quote from Seneca that says, travel and change of place impart new vigour to the mind. If you can't travel or you're put off travelling, you become isolated. But First Group stands by its policy. Our drivers will, will ask a passenger in the strongest, politest way they can to move and we train them to do so. When somebody does refuse to move, it is extraordinarily unfortunate. But we do believe that the approach that we take is the most feasible. A win for Doug Pawley could mean that wheelchair users have certainty that if an able-bodied person's in the wheelchair space, they will be made to move. Clive Coleman, BBC News.